so I am, I am, I, I do want to um, end this uh, pretty soon because Nisa, you, you've done just fantastic, and I, I appreciate this uh, a thousand percent. But like, um, blast. um, so I, I, I did want to know: Are there a certain group of pa- like? Cause, Cause I know a lot of nurses, a, a lot of nurses are like, I can't take care of the elderly because my grandparents, or I can't take care of kids because you know, uh, my kids or labor and delivery, whatever. Right. Are there, um, a population of, uh, of, of people that you have a harder time dealing with, or do you have to just get over that as an ER nurse? And then now it's just whoever comes through the door, I'm good with it. It just takes me a second. Yeah. Uh, so there are some diagnoses that scare me just because I know how bad they can, they can go like a, you know, aortic dissection, man, those guys can go bad so quick that I, you know, you have to kind of treat them like a Fabergé egg. Uh, I don't shy away from treating them. I just respect the fact that like, this is a patient that any minute could, could go. Um, I would say if I had to pick a population that is the most challenging for me to care for, it would be the pediatric psychiatric population. So when you have a a kid who's supposed to be like playing t-ball and student of the week and, you know, believing in Santa Claus or whatever, and they have these really, really intense, horrific psychiatric issues, um, the resources for psych in general are slim, but pediatric psych, even slimmer. Uh, And it's just so hard to see their family trying to deal with it and trying to tweak the meds and then they grow and then the meds don't work anymore. And, um, it's a very, very challenging population. I like taking care of kids. I like taking care of kids a lot, but, um, sometimes all those tricks that we, you know, that we do, they don't work on a psych kid, you know? Um, it's, so it's a real challenge. I, I, you know, it's part of ER nursing. You definitely do it, but, uh, it's, it's tough. It's really tough. Um, <clears throat> you just keep pulling these questions out of me, but I know you guys must deal with like the hypochondriacs, right? But um, I, I forgot what the name of the like the diagnosis of like parents that like to bring their kids into the hospitals and like Munchausen. Munchausen's. <clears throat> so I, I don't want to like share. Maybe you have dealt with that, but in the ER, I feel like that's one of the places where you have to. Like there's going to be a lot of situations where you need to take things to the ethical board. Is that stuff that you deal with at all? Have you ever dealt with that? And what is that process? Yeah. So you bump into ethical issues a good bit. Um, usually that's kind of above my pay grade. That's like something I will report to, you know, we, we make reports to Department of Family and Children's Services. We make reports to Adult Protective Services. Um, And then sometimes we do have to report things to the physician and say, look, I'm suspicious that, you know, whatever, X, Y, Z, whatever it is. Uh, There are ethical issues too, which I know you see this on the med surge floor. And this is one of the ones that's really hard for me is when you have these patients who roll in who are cachexic and traked and pegged and uh, uh, no quality of life whatsoever. And they've got pressure ulcers and they've got Foley catheters in place and just just not how I would ever want to live or want to see one of my family members, but you have a family who's telling you do everything, you know, do everything for them. Uh, that to me is an ethical issue. Uh, but you have to step back and realize, I just want to make it well known that I don't ever want to be in that position. (laughs) This family is making a different choice, you know? Yes. Yes. Um, what kind of other ethical things, uh, you know, ER nurses are often the nurses that do sexual assault exams. So when a, when a person comes in and reports that they've been sexually assaulted, we often do the evidence collection and record their story. Uh, that's a really tough one. Wait, for that specifically, is it, and I always wanted to know this, is like being a SANE nurse a certification or is that something you have to go to school for? It is a certification. It's a pretty intense one that you go to a class and then you have to do so many exams uh, uh, with a preceptor and so forth. We do now, luckily, we do have in our ER a handful of nurses who are actually SANE certified, but for years we didn't have anyone officially. So it was it was you, you know, yeah. it was me. No, no, no. And, and that's not, and that's not just you guys. I mean, that's literally every hospital. Right. We right. definitely don't have enough SANE nurses, period. That's not right. just you guys. That's everyone. Right. Um, and so, you know, you, you hear some pretty, pretty horrible things when you, uh, when you're doing those kinds of exams. Um, what other ethical things can I think of? That's okay. Um, cause like, I think you, you've given us more than enough. 